Hello guys, now the second last topic of the coordination compound that is crystal field theory. It will come in force due to some limitations of valence bond theory which I told you in the last class that valence bond theory gives number of assumption that uh, give the coordinate bond and it will not uh, distinguishing between the weak and strong ligand and not uh, properly explaining the tetrahedral and octahedral. To overcome these limitations of VBT, crystal field theory has been introduced. It considers the metal ion ligand bond as an ionic bond, ionic nature that is electrostatic in nature and they consider the metal ion ligand bond as a point charge. Whenever fullerene, chlorine, cyanide, anionic, then it is ion ion, and whenever neutral molecule, then ion dipole. In this one, degeneracy of the d orbital is maintained, and whenever degeneracy is breakdown, it will come splitting of d orbital depending upon the ligand which it is approaching. I am just going to show the diagram on the next page and then explaining. Till then, wait. Yes, dear students, now the CFT stands for the electrostatic model, which consider the metal ligand bond to be ionic purely from the electrostatic interaction between the metal ion and the ligand. Ligand are, shortly we can say that the splitting of degenerate d orbitals under the influence of approaching ligand into different energy level is called crystal field splitting and their energy is called crystal field stabilizing energy. So ligands are treated as point charges in case of anions or dipoles in case of neutral molecules. The 5d orbital is an isolated gaseous metal have some energy, they are degenerate. This degeneracy is maintained if a symmetrical field of negative charge surround the metal. Anions surround the metal atom or ion. When this negative field is due to the ligand in a complex, it becomes asymmetrical. Next, I am going to draw the diagram for octahedral complexes of the crystal field splitting energy. Then I am explaining you various steps of the CFT by taking an example of K3 FeCN6. You watch and understand properly how it is going, how it is making. It is too easy and uh, like as an VBT. Hello guys. Now again you see the example of crystal field splitting theory. I have taken the K3 FeCN6 where the oxidation number of iron is coming plus 3 and for plus 3 it will stand 3D5. You know very well we have done in the VBT yesterday. So now in the d orbital how many electrons are present? 5 it is coming it is called degenerated d orbital and we are watching that we have taken the strong ligand cyanide. Whenever the electron present in the d orbital of the metal and electron of the ligand are approaching with each other and repulsion takes place, then this d orbital is splitted into the two parts lower energy level T2G, which are taking the three d orbitals dxy, dyz, dxz, and upper are the dx square, y square, dz square. They feel more repulsion and going to the axis in this way and they are coming to the lower axis dxy, dyz, dxz. Now we have to distribute the electron. If it is a strong ligand, then you have to find out that 1, 2, 3, if it is strong, all will leave the pair here. And how many electron is coming? 1, that is unpaired. So unpaired electron n is equal to 1. You can put in the spin only formula and getting its magnetic property. Spin only formula n into n plus 2 under I told you earlier putting the value of n getting its magnetic moment 
and bore nerve bone if it is breakdown by the weak ligand if i will take the example fe h2 o6 and cl3 yesterday which we have taken in the vpt so five electrons are present one two three four five this degeneracy is breakdown and we are getting the five orbitals now ligand is weak so it will not making the pairing so five electrons are in this way one two three four five first all are paired then pairing start due to the weak ligand which we are taking that is the spelting of energy in an octahedral coordination entity with six ligands metal ion there will be a repulsion between the electron in the d orbital and the electron of the negative charges here it is inactive such a repulsion is more than the d orbital is directed towards the ligand when it is away from the ligand then dx square y square and dz square dz square orbitals which point towards the axis along the direction of the ligand <laughs> will experience more repulsion and will be raised the energy and the dx dy dz orbitals which are directed towards the axis will be lowered in the energy related to the average energy in the spherical crystal field thus the degeneracy of d orbital has been removed due to the ligand electron metal electron repulsion in the octahedral complexes to yield three orbitals of the lower energy t2g and uh, set and two orbitals of the higher energy that is the eg sets the spilting of degenerate level due to the presence of ligand in a definite geometry is known as crystal field spilting and the energy separation is denoted by the del o del o energy separation is generated by the energy separation is represented by the del o o stand for octahedral so it is value will come in this way we can take out any example and finding the electrons for the octahedral this is coming in this way whereas on for the tetrahedral that will coming in the different way i am just going to explain one example of the tetrahedral from vbt as well as cft please be with me thank you guys bye bye